As the technology has advanced, 3D printers have become increasingly accessible and affordable for hobbyists, professionals, and businesses alike. Paired with the best 3D modeling software for 3D printing, they offer an unrivaled creative space for product design, prototyping, or just building fun creations. 1. AnyCubic Cobra Plus The AnyCubic Cobra Plus is a 3D printer that effortlessly combines large-scale printing capabilities with a wealth of features to empower your creativity. Its massive build volume might be the first thing you notice, but it's the printer's remarkable reliability and ease of use that truly set it apart in a competitive market. At first glance, the Cobra Plus may seem daunting due to its size and weight. However, its intuitive design and lightweight construction make it a breeze to set up and operate. Once assembled, you'll appreciate the seamless integration of features such as auto bed leveling, filament detection, and a user-friendly touchscreen. 2. Sovol SV06 Sovol's SV06 made a lot of waves when it was released earlier this year. The machine is a clone of the ever-popular original Prusa i3 series but for a fraction of the price. Where Prusa i3 machines can cost as much as $1,099, the SV06 offers similar hardware for just tilde $198. That's not to say the systems are the same, but the SV06 manages to offer a similarly great experience for a very accessible price. The one thing to watch out for when considering the SV06 is its poor performance with flexible materials. The system's direct extruder with planetary gearing performs great with rigid filament, but we found flexibles tend to get caught up in the gearing and jam. But, given the all-metal hot end, you can still use more rigid high-temperature filaments than is typical for machines in its price range. 3. Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro The Elegoo Neptune series of filament 3D printers is several generations mature, and the Neptune 3 Pro is arguably the best printer to show for it. Ultra quiet and offering a well-rounded printing experience, it's also the cheapest it's ever been, dropping into our under $200 bracket following the release of the newer, and in our eyes, not yet as stable, Neptune 4 series. On the Neptune 3 Pro, you get a 225 by 225 by 280 mm build volume, which is mapped by a strain gauge based bed probe for tidally even first layers. A filament sensor tracks the end of spools, pausing jobs for you to swap in a new roll without losing your print. Control comes via a bungee corded touchscreen display that's responsive and clear. Prints pop free of the removable pay coated metal print bed, and that is, largely, the run of the Neptune 3 Pro. It is the modern baseline bed slinging 3D printer, offering all the comforts and hardware you'd want for minimal cost. 4. Flashforge Creator Pro 2 Flashforge's dual extrusion stalwart, the Creator Pro, finally got a meaningful upgrade in the Creator Pro 2. Ditching the single print head design for a modern independent dual extrusion motion system that uses two separate print heads for a number of productivity boosting print modes. This level of hardware at the Creator Pro 2's price of tilde $449 is a steal. Print quality is generally fantastic, with the benefits of the new system making a strong showing in clean breaks between colors or materials. At 200 by 148 by 150 millimeters, the build volume is a bit shrimpy for the possibilities offered by IDEX, but for the ease of use and quality it offers out of the box, we can overlook this. 5. Flashforge 3D Printer Adventure 4 Pro The print quality and reliability are fantastic, and we've found that most servicing and troubleshooting can be done over the phone in just a few minutes. The Adventurer 4 Pro is a successor to the original and includes some great new features, our favorite of which is the automated calibration. Just measure one point, and the printer will automatically complete the rest. We are super glad to see that the Adventurer 4 Pro can print up to 150 mm per second, as it'll mean a faster turnaround time for school users. We're just hoping to also see a less speedy setting implemented in the future 
so that users can easily change between fast printing and great quality printing.